So after you have spent a significant portion of your day either at school or at work, uh, you would probably like to go back home. And you can express that using three different verbs, either ir, venir or regresar. Ir means to go, venir means generally to come, and regresar means to come back. So either of these would work for this type of sentence. So voy, vengo, or regreso a casa. To home means a casa. So you can say voy a casa, vengo a casa, regreso a casa. And again, you can add a time reference right here. Vengo a casa a las seis. Okay, I get back home at six o'clock. Uh, then while you're at home, you can do a lot, lot of, uh, lot of things, a variety of things. And again, I'll, I just listed a couple of the most widely done things. Uh, so you can, for example, play with someone, with your dog, with your um, sisters and brothers, or if if you have kids, you can play with your kids. And uh, the verb is jugar in its infinitive form. And then if you want to state with whom you play, you say con, and then you add the person. So juego con mi perro, with my dog, juego con mis hermanos, I play with my siblings, or juego con mis hijos, I play with my children. Uh, then for uh, people who go to school, they usually or they should uh, do their homeworks. And to do your homework, we say hacer deberes. In the first form, this, is, this verb hacer is an irregular verb. And um, the irregularity in the first person is very similar to the verb tener. So in, the, in some of the previous videos about irregular verbs, we said that tener in the first person is tengo. And I've also mentioned that the change in the first person that uh, involves the G will happen quite a lot, or that there are many irregular verbs with this sort of change. Hacer is one of those. So hacer is in the infinitive form, but the first person is hago. So we add an extra G here. So if you want to say, I do my homeworks, you say, hago mis deberes. Then you can also cook. Um, the infinitive form is cocinar. If you say that you want to cook, or if you say that you cook, you say, yo cocino, or simply cocino. Then after you cook, you usually eat it. And uh, to eat dinner, again, can be expressed in two different ways, either using the verb cenar or comer cena. So the first person would be ceno or como cena, and again, you can uh, add a time reference here. So, ceno a las ocho, or como cena a las ocho, which means I eat dinner at eight. Um, then, before you go to bed, you usually shower, which again is, is a reflexive verb, ducharse in the infinitive form, first person, me ducho. Um, then, once you've, you have your belly full, you're clean, some people like to read books or magazines, so for that you would say leer libros, which in the first person is leo libros, which means libros are books. Uh, you can also watch TV or watch movies. Infinitive form is ver la tele, ver la tele, or ver, ver películas. First, first person is veo la tele, or veo películas. Here, before películas, which means movies or films, you don't have to put the, um, the article, because just the way, just like you would say it in English, I watch movies. You watch movies in general, so you don't have to specify I watch the movies. So here, again, you don't really have to say las películas. It wouldn't be, it wouldn't be a mistake, but veo películas is is okay. If you're uh, referring to your daily routine, it's okay. And then, after you've done all these things, you're probably pretty, pretty tired, so you go to sleep. And that means, or that in Spanish, that is acostarse. Again, a reflexive verb, so in the first person, that would be me acuesto, which means pretty much I go to bed or I go to sleep. And then, if you wanted to say sleep, uh, the verb for that is dormir. Dormir. And Sorry, this is an extra R here, <laughs> dormir. And uh, again, it's an irregular verb, or a verb that has an irregular change. And the change consists in adding an extra letter. So in the first person, that would be yo duermo. Yo duermo. Because yo dormo, I don't know, yo duermo sounds a lot more beautifully. So yo duermo, we add this U right here. And then other than that, um, the, the ending stays the same, or it stays the regular ending applies. So you can say, um, normalmente duermo ocho horas. Normally I sleep for eight hours. Okay, and then, then the cycle repeats. Yeah, so we've covered all three parts of your day, and in the following video I'll just make a quick recap. I'll give you an entire written day of someone, and we'll go through it really quickly, 
and you'll uh, start seeing how much you already understand and, and uh, comprehend from Spanish.